Hi everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers and More by Rhonda. Hope everyone out there is doing wonderful. Um, today I want to share with you all my Gone Artsy goodies for the month of April. Uh, pretty excited about these. There's some fun little spring things in here. And um, I know a lot of people are probably still experiencing snow. Um, as I've seen some pictures on Facebook. But here we're trying to uh, have spring. But one day we'll have 70s. The next day we have 30s. Crazy. So, but anyhow, we'll get started. And I wanted to uh, show you these beautiful peacock feathers. Aren't they gorgeous? The dead cells in the storm, they come in a set of two. I think peacock feathers are very fascinating. My husband has some relatives that have peacocks on their farm. And um, each year at the family reunion, she'll bring some. They hold an auction uh, to raise money for the reunion next the following year. So she donates peacock feathers. And um, she brought my mother-in-law some extras, you know, for her. And uh, she shared one with me, and I got a wing feather, which is pretty unusual. So, uh, pretty neat. But aren't they so pretty? I just love these. So, yes. And she also has another style of peacock feather uh, that's also available. So, that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is this beautiful scallop lace. And now, um, I love how Deb's stuff comes because it comes in these cool little packages. And if you have the pegboard in your craft room, these are great to hang up on there. And that way they're out of the way, they're on display, and easy to look through to see what you want. And then she has some other cool ideas that she's got going on. Uh, if you've seen last month's, that involves these fun little clothespins. I love these style of clothespins. I just think they're the coolest. They're so, they remind me of vintage. And, um, yeah, you'll get these. So, but with her move going on right now, um, that's still in the works. But let me show you this beautiful lace. That's why I left this in, so I wanted to show you why I love the packaging so much. And, isn't this gorgeous? This is a cotton. And it's dyeable. And I think that's so pretty. Gorgeous. And you can get, again, purchase in half yard increments. I want to make sure I said yard there because I was trying to get her to sell them in inches. I was I made a boo boo one time and kept saying inches, so we get a good laugh out of it. A lot of fun. She would have been cutting from here till who knows when. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to share with you is this fun little stretchable lace, which is great for doing little headbands, like for infants. It has elastic in it. And this is a chocolate brown. And it also comes in a white. Isn't that cute? So you could even use this to make chokers out of. If you love the vintage style chokers. Perfect for that too. Fun, fun. Okay, now Deb also carries a variety of style, shapes, and sizes of doilies. And I always thought of a doily as just round. I don't know why. But she has them in square. She has them in oval. Um, round. And you can get creams and beiges and whites. And then she also has some that has, has um, embroidery in the center. They're just beautiful. And I never ever thought about cutting up a doily until uh, I started watching some, some videos. And yeah, pretty neat. Never thought, it, I always thought of a doily as something you just set something on on your table. 
And then here are a couple more. This style here I have shown you all before. It's one of my favorites in her store. And then there's this cute little doily, which you can cut it apart. You can just use the center or the edges. And I would have never thought about cutting pieces apart and saving, but I happened to catch um, a video by Jennings644, a lot of y'all know her as Fiona, uh, the other night. And she she's like, save all your pieces. And I'm like, that's so cool. Never would have thought. So I've been watching a lot of her videos here late at night. Um, my husband watches some of the silly shows. Hunting for Bigfoot. <laughs> so I've just been enjoying her videos late at night. And then here's another little, I think these are the cutest little things ever. They're so tiny. Adorable. And they come attached. Or you can cut them apart, of course. Cute. I just think they're simple. The cutest and then this beautiful applique, now, the, the picture, I'm going to tell you now, it just does not do it justice. Uh, when I opened this up, I was like, oh my goodness, but it has like little seed beads all through it, sewn in, and this sort of a, a cream champagne color. Yeah, it's darker than a cream. It's more like a champagne color. But this is the cutest little thing ever. I love it. Too cute. And then, if you do weddings, like I do, and I do a lot of wedding st stuff, oops, excuse me, uh, here's a beautiful applique that Deb sells in her store, along with a couple other styles, and I just think that is so pretty. I can't wait to use that. But it has uh, sequins and beads all in it, and it all comes on a backing. Too cute. Absolutely stunning. And these cute little things here, I'm going to jump to these because I think they're absolutely darling. Uh, these come in a set of four uh, when you purchase them. And right now you can get them for $3. They're originally five. And you can also, these are all the colors that are available. And you can specify which colors you like. And if you don't, you will, uh, you know, get a nice little variety. And, uh, but I couldn't get over how big these were. Now, I did not realize they were that large. Uh, I was thinking, like, about like that. And I was like, oh, my goodness, they're so cute. And when I do alter tags, um, I like to, especially for swaps or something, uh, some of them that I've been in, one of the requirements is to also have your back finished. Uh, of your tag. So I like to add a little something on there, not just cover it with paper. So this was the first thing I thought of. Was you know placing it at the bottom like it was popping out of the ground or something like that. And then if they you know would want to remove it to use it for something they have it to uh, to use to throw into their own little collection. But I thought these were darling and you can add a piece of bling in the center if you want to. And uh, too cute. Whoops. But uh, these are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight different colors to choose from. And I think there's eight different colors because these two look different. Yes. So order these up. Perfect for your spring and summer projects. Very fun colors. And again, they're on sale right now. They're in the they're located in the clearance section um, right now for three dollars. Okay, and then here's some more fun little flowers. This is a set that you get, and there's two, four, six, eight, nine. I thought that was right. Uh, different sizes, different colors. Great for your little spring projects. Um, I thought these would be cute for a little girl's birthday if you uh, have a little one. Uh, either to do up on her invitations or um, they'd be cute just to toss around the table uh, rather than using confetti. If you're doing a nice little fun spring party or if you're having a tea party 
could be fun. So, uh, great for your little cards. And they are uh, resin. So cute. So you get three of the large ones. And you get three of the medium and three of the little small ones. Too cute. And I love little resin flowers. I'm obsessed with them. It's my new obsession. And then the last thing I want to share with you all is the bling. And this is how Deb, uh, she uh, ships her bling. Uh, she's always used these fun little organza bags. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, and these are great for reusing or for, uh, you know, doing gifting for swaps or anything like that. And these are three different uh, pieces of metal embellishments I want to share with you. This beautiful piece has pearls and rhinestones all through it. And it's set in a gold tone metal. It's a nice weight. Great size for center of uh, making... Um, fabric flowers, which I've, I love doing those. They're pretty fun. And then the next piece, which is absolutely adorable, it's kind of risen. You can see how the height on that. And it's also pearl in the center with rhinestones all around the edges. This is a silver tone. Uh, yes, yeah, silver tone metal. Too cute. And then Deb has these uh, feathers in her shop. Now, if you're into jewelry making, uh, she has three different styles of these. And they come in three different colors. And uh, when I first seen these, I thought of uh, Native American, which um, my, that falls on my father's side. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then it has the nice little eye. Again, if you're doing jewelry. These would make great earrings too. And you could take, and if you want to change up the colors, but you like the style of uh, feather that it is, again, this is just one of three. You can just use Rub and Buff. Change it up. Isn't that fun? Alrighty. Well, folks, that is my Gone Artsy Goodies for April. And I hope you enjoyed taking the view. Oh, I know that's a little loud. So head on over to the shop and, um, well, order you up some fun Gone Artsy goodies. Again, she, she has, um, uh, sells her laces and her trims in um, the half yard increments. Make sure I get that right. And uh, so if you don't want a lot, you just want to, you know, try a piece to see maybe if you care for the style that it is or the uh, the type of material that it's made from. Because she also has synthetic as well as cotton. And, uh, of course, both are dyeable. And she also has videos uh, with different techniques on dyeing from using natural dyes, um, and, of course, your chemical. And, of course, what I thought was cool about the natural dyes, you know, it's stuff that you probably already have at home. And Well, that's how a lot of our Native American, um, you know, that's how they, that they made their paints, you know. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, there, of course, uh, we also, if you visit the Gone Artsy fan page, in uh, the note section, you will find a list of all the different types of natural products that um, you can use for dyeing. Pretty awesome. So, in the meantime, uh, we'll be getting back to our Ustream shows um, with Deb with her move and uh, some having computer difficulty and then I had a passing in the family which has pull, pulled me away for a little while um, we'll get started right back with you all with the uh, Ustream classes and swing by the shop and take a look at all the yummies until next time everyone thanks a lot bye bye